Falling on the bottom side of... What is this? What is this? It's great Keep Gardens! <laughs> <laughs> We've got Rick! Playing as the Dark Elves. First Dark Elf game in the Grand Finals, I think. Definitely in the Grand Finals. And I think also the first Elf in the Grand Finals. Unless it wasn't random. Uh, cheese uh, we have beaten Aqua Kazam once with Elves. You are correct. We have Frenchie, but with our first Druid in a final. That's pretty definite, I think. Yeah, that's for sure. And he's showing us the Druid power. Let's see if it is enough to contest Vic on his flag, uh, flag capping shenanigans. I was about to say flag capping shenanigans, but there's no anti air in this game quite as if yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just to spam some beetles out of the air. Next Battle like, Force game. Yep. Just a druid summons a, f a flak 88 and calls it a day. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be the replacement for crush spirits. Sure. It's flak 88 summon. <laughs> I mean, it does definitely would crush his spirits. But we shall see. Oh, and they did go both for the same flag. Yeah, God was not going to deny this. Uh, he's yep. actually just walking through it. Oh my god, is he just gonna steal the first creep some pressure from there? Because Frenchie does not make units. If Vic commits to a hard proxy... Yep. Dude, I think he can definitely do a ton of damage with that. Very, very just looking for the spider, indeed. finds it. He can also like just creep in his entire side. Absolutely. Like that, but it's still iffy to lose all the god stones, but we'll see. It's definitely off to a very interesting start. As long as he makes a ton of spiders, he should be able to take it back. Although it's very difficult against the druid. No. That's why I prefer the proxy play. And hopefully he does it. He's upgrading the back ensign for now. Oh, French is trying to pull those creeps up all the way. Okay, doesn't quite get it because of the spider intercept. Yeah, that's just going to pull them back. Uh, actually, the spider is chewing on the middle elven banner. Oh, very nice. Wow, yeah, there's we'll... so many dark up buildings now. Ready to go. Hey! He's not going in the base. He could have stolen oh. some creeps as well. I don't know about this. Yeah, I'm not sure, bro. I'm like, what's his plan here now? So he's gonna get these creeps. I don't know if that was necessary. Like, he still had the spiders to keep tabs. If the druid would go for it, I think it would still be fast enough. Come back, but um, an elf with the entire middle all around is damn scary. You will have to see, by the way, bless you. Gesundheit. Hey, but one of the few people that can actually hold a hammer is the Guardian of Noor. <laughs> Fun <Sure>. fact there. <laughs> he actually learned that in preschool. He's a nerd after all, properly using tools. What, what a nerd. Not even a member of the strength. <laughs> Just a normal worker, really. But both Shrine of Growth on the Godsons up now, so basically that that's locks Dark Elf out for quite a while. Especially with the Druid on the defending end. That's just a no-no. So I don't think French is too upset about this, honestly. I'd be happy with that. Wait, teleport back? Wow. Yeah, like losing this middle banner. Like, we know French, he doesn't build guardians, so it would take him a lot of time to get rid of that. It sure as hell would. Oh! He's gonna get rid of it anyway. Ah! Hey, French, you can do it too. Look at that. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> take getting a taste of his own medicine, yeah? Problem is, French has fewer. Uh, potions left, so Vic can keep doing this for a while. No. Eh, yeah, it's not gonna go up. And the spiders and infiltrators are gonna join. Infiltrators may not be the best choice, they're not that tanky. And they take extra magic damage. No. Oh, the quick spam click. Yeah. He's <laughs> gonna get that going now. Wait, you can use the. Psychokinetic yep. Blast on buildings? You can use Psychokinetic Blast on buildings and Obliterate. And Obliterate also shotguns buildings and flags. Nice. So there's no point in Vic trying to upgrade it. 
<laughs> nope, it's basically just. This is not gonna They're be having a little. Well, actually, the druid is gonna run out of mana. So, True. if Vic knows that, then he can stick around and just wait it out. I'm still not sure who's gonna benefit from this. I think it's gonna be Vic in the end, just because. Well, hmm. The iron That's for the dark elves is too. very important. Uh, yeah, like obviously. just like for the elves. Yeah, that's hmm. the problem is still the dark elf siege. It's just so pathetic. Yeah, you Back have to, to the of rely on uh -oh. spiders and. Uh, I mean, deals. if he loses the druid here, which he could. Okay, go. Ah, got stone. <laughs> okay, yeah, just the last second one. Yeah, I was wondering if you might be able to get the block in with the spiders, but it wasn't quite fast enough. No, and the Guardian of Nor just couldn't get the ability off. Uh, gotta bear in mind, like, the Soul Explosion is still not quite weapon range, it's uh -oh. just melee range, which is smaller. Ooh! What was, what was he thinking there? I have no idea. He probably didn't know that Vic took that or something, but now he does. Yeah, probably. And then a teleport back wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, and, and now Vic can go for a rope to pressure. As well as the creep stealing. Yep. So that's nice. three worker kills to start with. Not bad, not bad. But also, that's one of the reasons why I like the flesh to life against dark elves, just because you usually get so many kills against spiders that you always have some kind of feeling on you. Yeah. I mean, in the flag fight, it wouldn't have mattered, but just in general. Well, Vic is also going into tier two, so soon he can start yep. up the iron mines. He's got, after all, the middle sector and stuff. And but but this is like one of the situations where I would I would be play, playing Druid now. I would uh, go Guardians because I have my Iron. Or like I could, we could still, I would get at least some Guardians. And then go Rot Stone so I don't need as many. And then try to snipe out the middle again. Get uh, some of these sectors down just to keep pressure on him. And then get ahead. Yeah, I agree. Generally Frenchie does have this uh, food float situation going on. A lot. Yep. And what he does instead is he increases workforce on the Sanctum all the time. And then he keeps yep. adding groves every time. Well, the good thing is, it's very cheap, the increased workforce. And it just takes a while. So, but he does it all. Like, he has, since he has this very quick tier 2, it's actually not that bad. Because I'm always in a weird position where I like, do I want it before tier 2? But that's 60 seconds where I usually end up queuing it up by the time I get it. So it's. Eh. But it's working out for him quite nicely. And especially like on this map, in this situation, with like the Godstone in the main and both control Godstones in the middle. It's pretty damn good. Ah, the Druid finds the uh, infiltrators. <laughs> but, but once again, time, it's, it's got no health again. potions and it's gonna be out of mana. One mana potion left. Oh wow, he's... Didn't he just buy two? Did he already sip them both? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have levels, you, you don't get the single deep waters point, then this happens. Yeah, that's true. With one deep waters, it's better, but... Oh man, Vic managed to pull in the the revenants, and they are going after the workers right now, just biting them to death. It's crazy. <laughs> so bootcutters are getting killed, but there are already four iron mines going. This is why I really like going beetles, because... You know, you, you still get your basic army of spiders, right? The infiltrators yeah. aren't that important here. And at the same time, if you hit this with beetles, that's just really strong. And beetles do outrange wardens, I would say. Actually, what's the range on beetles? I think they do. Or is it the same? How was that? Uh, what Do you know the range of beetles by heart? Uh, isn't it like a 120 or something? Okay, yeah, then it's definitely longer than Wardens, so you can definitely kite them. Significantly longer, yeah, you can kite. I'm not sure if it's 120 or what. But yeah, but like Wardens longer. are at 75, so it should definitely be a lot decent chunk more than that. Yeah. Oh, wow, he lost pretty much all his workers in the, that sector. Oh, never mind, there's a full woodcutter. Still a lot of losses. Nope. Yeah, and bought a lot of time with the skellies, but unfortunately for Vic, Frenchie is also even on levels now, and he's just and teleported to the cross, working on the others now. And that's the thing with not adapting, like, Frenchie did really well, theoretically, with having that middle sectors, but now that he's not picking up rot stone or anything, 
Um, his enemy is still on two iron sectors, so the iron sector count is actually pretty even. In fact, he has actually a four, uh, three. He's got one more since he's got the sector outside his base with iron. So yep. the Dark Elf is properly ahead, except for the Godstone positioning. Dark and without Rod Stone, in. he can't he can't capitalize on that for quite a while. Well, right. you did mention we saw some uh, earlier catapults these days. Yes, so maybe... we should be seeing some ballista very shortly. Oh yeah, ballistas. Well, that could be interesting if it does that. If you At the moment, so. it's working on an enchanter, but it would be super easy to just get it now. Yeah, so cheap now. It's so nice. Meanwhile, we're just seeing some creeping. And lower side. Oh, I was hoping that was like a nice palace. And when I turned around, I was like just greeted by a very boring wall. It's Batman. It's a nice wall, but a boring wall. Pretty easy takedowns. Uh, sleeper? Against elves? Wait. Ooh. I don't understand that. Yeah, that's not that. That's not too hot. No. That really isn't gonna work because they get heavily affected by all of the uh, druid skills. Yep, and they don't do anything. Don't do much against protectors. No, they the really don't. Do really good damage against them, since they have like partial magic damage. So Frenchy is level five now with the vibrant kill. I mean, if you were ahead and there were like was like guardian spam going on and stuff, then we could talk about it. But if you're behind on iron unit, ugh. and like you, you don't need them yet to combo off for the bleed for like striders. Yeah, definitely. And well, you know what he could do? He could uh, click into the iron mine workers. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Because that's the only base right now that Frenchy has for iron. Yeah. So if he could get that harassed, that would be great. But Beatles just do it better, I think. Yeah, I'd say I agree. Especially on this map, just because of the layout. So much cleaner. Well, we'll see what he does with them. I don't know if he doesn't overcommit to them, they should still be nice because it's second row damage for the spiders. Yeah, and I don't mean to be negative like... about the sleepers, because I mean, I'm one of their biggest advocates, but <laughs> against elves just yeah doesn't seem right e everything in spellforce has its time and its place and um yeah those one maybe maybe the sleeper should sleep that one out <laughs> by the way the protectors got their upgrade now the savage blows very nice woodcutters are upgrading to enchanters just in time when they run out so that timing is pretty not nice which is something a lot of people forget, myself included. Like just getting the timing on the, the the foresters right. So it looks like to be 13 minutes, pretty solid. And ah. the smithy is up. Here come the beetles. Yep. Uh, uh, ballistas are queued up. We are just lacking all the resources for them. Uh. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> classic with food float. Jesus Christ. 170 it's up. Pretty bad. And Frenchie's not floating much, so that's nice to see. But, but then like again, the have... beetles are expensive, so yeah, that's it could partially go there. Like the weird thing with Frenchie is always like his economy. Like he looks like he's spending a lot, but then he's not producing a lot either. Yeah. Well, that's why it would be a good time to see the ballista. Oh, on the other side though, the dark elves are going after that base. French yep. needs to get I back soon. completely missed that French already took the Wyvern, so he is level 6. Yep. He's got 2 so far, so it's pretty hot. Oh, is he, did he, is he already done over there? Nice. Yeah, yeah, he's just gotten back. By the way, uh, for new players, if you play slight attention, you can see the streak of where the teleport is going. So you can judge if you're gonna get like double flanked or something, or if he's going home, or just to the next sector over. So mm, if you like play slight attention, it's a little... Imagine that, yeah. that would be so good right now. Yeah. Because, like, uh, sometimes you get bait and switched for, like, teleport trading. And sometimes you can bait it back by just moving one sector backwards. So if you pay slight attention there, it's a little bit like the souls. So you can predict where he's going to be or chase him, basically, if you just teleport some next sector back. 
Like he just did. Okay, finally the beetle's getting split off. Yep. Ah, uh, they don't have their upgrade yet, but it's on the way. In the meantime, they can kill a lot of workers. Oh, uh, do I avoid... <laughs> oh my god, the synchronized beetle shooting! <laughs> What? I don't know why I find that so funny. Like, you hit the stop button on the Beatles, and then they suddenly just synchronize spitting. Just like, oh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> just one shot these poor boys. And yeah, Frenchie is also someone who isn't very quick on his spells. I keep riffing on him, I need to find a nicer way of putting it. <laughs> I just feel so bad. I, I am an advocate. I'm happy to see some fruit play. But um, yeah, poor boy. Oh heck, he did send some wardens. But the beetles are already skedaddled. Well, he's gonna take out the scouting post now and gain a lot of space there. Oh, just seeing beetles with heavy wing beats is so weird. They should be buzzing. They probably should be, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh! I thought it was a biggie. I guess it's too big oh. to buzz. Too big to buzz, indeed. I could have picked up some beetles here. Some of them were far forward. Lots of ballistas in a bad position, though. Oh, the range also... is only a hundred on beetles. My bad. <laughs> That's still pretty decent. That's good, yeah. Especially like the 0 0.67 attack speed is what really sells them. Yeah, you can micro them pretty well if you if you kite. I'm not sure that was worth the fireball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Whoa, gonna be a huge one nice. combo. But the uh, druid actually went down. Got him nor in a pretty healthy position still. Should be able to get out of here. And beautiful silence. And then it's the classic bait. You don't quite get the hero, and meanwhile your entire army is dying. Yes, and you, you know what, the sleepers that. getting on top of the of the wardens is actually really good, especially if the plague beetles also help. Nope. But it's all coming isn't together. able to put it away. Still, so big. Vic did a lot of damage to equalize this game now, and he's getting all these souls. Uh, is he tier free yet? No. One That's probably big the big spaghetti problem. slurp for these two little spires. I'm sticking with that metaphor, by the way. <laughs> Harvesters are Italian. <laughs> oh man, the harvesters look really good in yellow. I like it a lot. Sleepers as well. Beautiful. Good man. Good color coordination there. True. Yeah, also like the, the darkest iron mines have been completely un uncontested. Like the thing with these middle iron mines is they can be... You can just send something in there, it's out of range of the border fortress, so it's actually harassable. Even with like melee units. So just having like a protector park there. Like that's another thing, like just the would be so nice if the passive stance would lock them out from being all selected. So you could just have a much easier time parking things somewhere. If you're not one of the two hundred IQ six control group players. <laughs> At the but very I least if the control groups were yeah. a little friendlier. That would be nice. Holy be Jesus! I just realized, look at this. Can the ba the Basilisk is surely in reach of this uh, for a ground target? Yes, it is. Well, that's gonna get exploited by you soon, I expect. Uh, <laughs> on the other side it's not, but on this side it is. Oh, really? So you can just target ground on the workers. Yeah. You might be able to squeeze him there at the stone to be in range? No, I tried it. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, on the, on, the, on the northwestern side, it's not. Yeah, I, I, I think the, that's way better as a spot. The southern, the southern spot, maybe. Well, another Laven goes down. New. Nope. And a lot of ballistas being made for Frenchie. He's got but, another um, focus thanks ring to the corner here. sectors, we definitely have an even sector count ish. Two, yes. Four, five, two, and they definitely count at this point because okay. there's so much iron there. Yup. Oh, have we? Oh, some of these revenants are still alive. Look at those. 
Oh, what? That's crazy. Uh, okay. Hey, the, there's, the silence that could entirely change the game. Ooh, very you, nice. You know how bad it is. Uh, like with against all this splash damage, if half your army is knocked down, you'll just lose so hard. Yep. Oh my god. And, and once again, with the teleport in, uh, combined with the scions, that just that can be game-ending damage. But they connect with the ballista in the wrong side of things. Oh no, that's unfortunate for Vic. Oops, slightly unlucky. Uh, how the hell did man? How the hell did Frenchie manage to get a loose formation there? I have no idea. He must have I want that the button. Units. <laughs> I want to know the miracle. Oh, but they're so clumped, the dark elves. Yikes! That's very That'd good be huge problem. But getting uh, the focus fire down on the druid could be a huge play. Another silence is available should he need it. And half the elven army has not been around. Vic is also sieging with the basilisk. His base is toast. Yep. Frenchy at 100 population, dude. Maybe the sleepers are underrated for sleeping on them. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is also is a bit that Frenchy just relies so hard on his druid. Like he's not really fighting with his army. Like his army is usually just running around. Yeah. So they're not actually attacking. So he's not getting any value out of to protect the cleave if he has it researched, which I would assume so. Well, Vic is tier free, dude. Uh, spiders have been upgraded too, by the way. Yep. They have some slight impair on them. And yeah, some protectors got mismicro there. Yeah, and the striders are coming in. How far is Frenchy away from tier 3? Oh, he's getting it actually. But this border yeah. fortress is in his face. Also, we have six halls of fame, three dark temples versus yeah, at least four groves. That's not so the that's worst, because nice. Vic is full pop anyway, and uh, you. You know, Dark Elves need more units. Oh, the teleport again on top! Yikes. Uh, I teleport that as oh, well. Good choice. Yeah. But French, you will lose still a lot of units, and there's a lot in the front. So Man, many that's buildings. a crowded elf base. <laughs> that is very crowded. It's got all of the workforce upgrades, by the way. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, do you actually know if you get all the resources back from upgraded buildings? Because you recycled his um, R, um Yeah, uh, if it's not damaged, you get everything back. Yeah, yeah, but do you get like the stone as well back? Yes. Ah, okay. Good to know. Yes, yeah, so if you ever upgrade a woodcutter accidentally, you, you, you can just... Oh, rip. The one woodcutter he kept is not upgraded, lol. <laughs> so he recycled his foresters, but not the woodcutter. No. Oh, he's getting Noria's command. Things could turn around still. <laughs> <laughs> All is not lost. Is. There's Wanderers. Are you happy now? Yep, I am. I was about to comment on that. I like them. Oh, I, I just love their the... idling uh, position. Like, they stand so freaking straight. I want to <laughs> learn from them how they do that. They'll never have a back pain, control. that's for sure. Nope. Also, but like, once you get the upgrades, they're so good. With yeah, yeah. The damage. Well, that Border Fortress... Oh god, the uh, Catapult got Border Fortress, actually. Oh no. Now oh, the silence actually exploded on oh, the buildings, that's a rip. But... I mean... <laughs> that's always me when farming. you... Silence an army that can't do cast spells. Yeah, yep. especially on the druid. What's it gonna do? <laughs> Just eating a sleeper for the soul shield, no problem. <laughs> that that guy got tortured for for months and months. Just to get sucked out of existence. Yeah. Elite yeah, soldier, Pac more like my God. favorite sacrifice. God, that's such a weird base layout for elves. It's Ooh. no space. <laughs> no space space. Yay! Oh, we're getting tired, aren't we? Oh, right. poor wanderers. There, go down, down they go. They're getting permanently tired. Retired. Oh no, but the basilisk are dying to the high sanctum. Yeah, they're too close. Oh. It shouldn't matter in the end, but... Actually, a lot of the Dark Elf army died. Look at this reinforcing... Uh... Swarm. Yep, the protectors are actually still cleaving away. 
Yikes! All of the Beatles are dead. Uh, did Victor just throw an, ar throw an army? It's the good old Dark Elf Siege throw. Yeah, you need the uh, Basilisks, like three or four, Damn. won't hurt you in the fights. Twisted ones are coming. Elves OP. The base layout worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it actually did. <laughs> Wanderers do thrive in alleyways. There you go, Druid gets back up again. Level 9, by the way, on him. Just mostly thrive <laughs> and based. Uh, Snidely Vip, uh, Viplash in the chat just called it Geralt's Command. <laughs> Geralt's Command, indeed. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. I like it. Wind's howling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so many Yoshis, though. They look much healthier in orange. Sure. Doesn't look quite like a rash. They still have early male pattern baldness, but... What do you do? And this is another instance where Rodstone would be nice. <laughs> I'm a huge proponent of Rodstone, it's just so good. Well, when you're at level 9, what are you waiting for, right? Yeah. Especially, like, with fuck... Uh, sorry. I'm starting to swear. Uh, with like full brute force, it's 110 siege damage per second. Yeah, why wouldn't you, right? It's just. I, I don't get it. At this point, it's just greed uh, to not diversify a bit. What about. Well, you uh, don't have, what about you nature's gift? Do you like you it? Fall behind. Uh, what is that again? The healing. Oh, nature's power, oh, the healing. The AOE. I've had some. Like, I've used it on Ancient City for like. Um, couple early guardians and then do the medusas really early because it heals quite nicely through that mm -hmm. I'm otherwise not a big fan of it. So I'm, I'm not I haven't made my upper mind on it because it doesn't I'm scale not quite with healing It's just regeneration uh, Not a direct healing, right? Does it do a burst healing as well? Uh, no, it's just 27 health per second. Oh, that's but that's on full brute force. I think now. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, These sires so keep it's, going it's, up. I don't know. Yeah it's one of those those things where it's. I sometimes want to use it instead of flesh to life, in my obliterate build, and then I end up using it. But, meh. Mm. I don't know. Gotcha. Like a, especially like with Alan's wrath, usually like the damage output is too high in late game fights to really make use of that. Yeah, I'd assume you'd spec out of it. I mean, it would have to be kind of like the healing spells in the. In the uh, um, light magic skills in the campaign, yeah, uh, which is just an immediate big burst, and maybe there's a regeneration effect added, but yeah, it's a bit weird. I prefer like the the heal on kill because it basically you just have to w don't worry about it. You don't waste cast time. You can just do damage, yeah, just and then perfect. you still get some heal, and you get like even maybe some bonus damage on top of it a little bit. Because if you like, if you trigger that in the backline, just getting five percent damage on like a warden, that's twenty magic damage. Oh hey, nice. Lanya is on the way. Very nice. Yeah. Oh man, tier three upgrades could really change this. Winter mages, pretty good unit. Yep. Oh, actually, on full power, it's nine resistance and nine attack power, and forty-six health per second on the flesh to life level three. Nice. So that's really why good. I like it. It's just really, really good. Because you always end up getting some kills. Like here, something's gonna die in the fire, so it's procs pretty often. And then with level 2 obliterate as well. And then your back line or your front line, depending where your druid is sitting, just gets buffed and is more resilient. And then you add some normal druids on it, and then you don't need the nature's gift. I think that's why I don't like it, because like, I just use druids. The then you purify, dude. It's in this base. It's it's Oops. gone. A rip. Also, that thing is expensive. That is expensive. 40, 40 wood for 50 second build time as well. Yikes. But once you get it going, it's pretty good, but it's definitely something I'd recommend for your main base. Yeah, or it's somewhere safer at least. Yeah. Oh, but Druid is proving his level 9 one-man army abilities. Mm -hmm. 
keeping Frenchie in the game here. Yeah? Oh, that was a nice little heal here for the Striders. Oh, it's so much value on a Strider, man. Yeah, 24 sure. health per second. For 10... So 240 health. Pretty spicy. The, the beetles are like the thing that can maybe chase down that hero, but probably not. Ooh, Vic yeah. actually going in for melee range. Gets such a wonderful concave with it. And there are two basilisks in the back, so if he targets down the Shrine of Growth, uh, that could do a pretty good job. But actually, all these wanderers are doing work, man, and the winter mages are here. Nope. I'm surprised Frenchie hasn't picked up level 2 Eden's Fire for the oh 20 seconds duration. And yeah, he hasn't. You're right. Maybe with level 10 he will. But suddenly he's starting <laughs> to win the fights. Oh, rip. Kind of Nor going down. There's level 10. Oh my god. Did he just make a comeback? Nice. Looks like it. He's got freaking two sectors plus the main in the entire map. There's no way he can win this game, right? Let's but he's see, not giving it? up. He, he believes in the power. He's got a new Lenya Purifier. So that was his second Lenya Purifier. Well, there he's was. got one in the Godstone sector. That's hot. So he's producing that. So Winter Magic should be still coming in. Uh, the upgrades are queued up. Or, oh no, they're actually done. So we oh have my god, to everything's fall. done. The Protectors yep. have almost 2k health. The Wanderers have magic damage. Everything's aligned. But Vic does happen to have a million resources, so his remax exactly. on the heavy Scions and Beetles well, is going to be pretty good. Now here's something very underutilized. I'm not sure if French is aware of it. If you, where's the heart of the forest? Um, does he have the upgrade for the uh, the Winter Mages? Because if he overcommits again, he does not have it. The Embrace of Winter, it's basically an AoE stasis around the Winter Mage, so you just pull one of them forward and then you freeze a part of the enemy's army. Yeah, it's so good. A certain uh, amount of time, so you just know that's me. It's it's strong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can also just freeze the hero, so that's pretty nice. Yep. And then you just combo it with other winter mages and keep it up. Just make sure you don't freeze too many of your own units because you can use it both ways. You can either save your hero uh, units, or you can use it on your AOE uh, enemy. <laughs> He's just. Preemptively creating a, a retreat area for himself. Oh, Scion's back at it. Oh god, the uh, positioning is bad for Frenchie. Oh, the Ballista will die at this rate. Like you pointed out before once, Beatles on top of the army is just another layer yeah. that doesn't st uh, stack up much with the, with the rest. And the Winter Mages. Yeah, it's a. You really need to get used to the, when you retreat, you need to really get used to the click drag. And so your front line stays towards the front. Yeah, I would say with the Dark Elves as well. It's just so yeah. useful. Uh, especially when you're up against the Druid who will have all this AoE. Uh, yeah. Having them dragged out means less clumping. And your catapults don't always stay in the back line, or at least they try to. Whereas it's like, otherwise, if once you once you protect it and your army push past the ballista, it's really annoying to turn around. It's a freaking huge soul harvest, dude. Oh my god, that is so huge. <laughs> and the dark have just take this over. Oh uh, man, look at the beautiful twisted ones in orange. They're so good looking. Yep. Wee! There comes the teleport. Oh man, oh man, Vic is oh, looking to club. finish. The the druid isn't here. Oh, what? Why? He turned around. You know what I do at this point? Just mass towers in the front. <laughs> <laughs> He's right next to the base, just do it. Probably a good good move. Uh, fun fact, by the way, about the Dark of Towers. If you upgrade them to fortify, they end up doing less damage, because it's not magic damage anymore. <laughs> it's a downgrade. Uh, don't recommend. Oh, the the Lethargy Tower is good though. Um, it, it does like an AoE slow. Hang on, what did he just spend it on? Uh, Frenchy bought a potion of proficiency. Oh, he's getting flesh for life. Uh, flesh to life. Oh, really? So that's another little thing with that because you proc it so often, you end up with like this 9 resistance and an AoE around you. 
So it's like a mini occultist, budget occultist. Does that stack correctly with the protector? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, because it's a phalanx spoon, right? So it should stack. Yeah. Different kind of effect, exactly. Winter mages! Very Ooh. strong mages, but they don't actually have that good resistances. Especially against magic compared to other mages. Yeah, you're right. So that's very interesting. For but them, it's all about choke point abuse, honestly, uh, together with yeah. the druid. Uh, but if you have a huge area to fight in, like Drake Keep, then should be fine for the Dark Elves, honestly. Also, I think they have some of the quickest attacks of the mages 0 0.5 on 90 range, it's pretty nice. Oh and God. they fully they fully cleave as well. Yes. Vic has right now 19 idle workers. He's gotta fix Oof. that. Oh man, many these many winter idols. mages are scary. But is it enough? It's a 140 army, or is this a full pop cap? He's just bleeding units. And oh eventually no, the iron is gonna run out. Again. Yeah, the iron will run out, so definitely no Titan anymore. Yeah. Just not happening. Ooh, there's a lot okay, of damage going down on the Dark Elves. He is in a choke point, though. So, uh, but at least that's as choke point as it gets on this map. Oh no, but he's running away from the choke point! Oh, that's not good. If the Dark Elves get the open space, they will definitely win the fight. You. Okay, the sleepers are going down. It's the worst place to be. All right, this could Great go Alice Wrath, but even so, the Beatles are strong enough to survive one. Yep. Oh, there we go. Kill on the Guardian of Lore, nice. Uh, Dark Ops do retreat, but they also happen to kill half of the Avan army. So I think yep. they're pretty happy with this. I'm not sure if either... I think Vic just either missed his silence or he didn't go for it. Couldn't quite make it out in the back there. <laughs> the ballista tried to uh, take out the border fortress, but the watchtower is taking care of it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah. Vic is looking to smash something with his balls, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Also, might be time for the antler helmet for the druid. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's got a lot of money. No, actually 3,000 only, and he's out of potions. Rip. Oh, right. So it's not for the helmet, but he needs the potions. But actually, yeah. he can't buy potions, because there's only one merchant here. Oh, right. He's, yeah, he's probably out, right? Yeah, yeah, I think he bought them all. Yeah, okay, yeah. GG's being called. Yeah, he knows. Uh, no Lenya, no win. Exactly. But, good show for the Winter Mages. Nice to see those boys around. And a surprising hold, actually, he for as long as he did. Dude, but he almost very turned nice the game around. It was crazy. Just such a comfortable map for Vic, though. Even though he almost threw it. But where is Oh god, look at the army's... Uh, oh no, that's gold owned. Army size is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was Vic just, just on a one fight that Vic actually lost. Yeah. Uh, he yeah, I, I thought the like gold owned was the army supply, and I was like, what the fuck? Going <laughs> 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 <Dumped> down. <laughs> but, not a bad start. Definitely as promise. Maybe we. Oh, man. Imagine elf, dark elf on elf, titan on titan action. That would be I hot. Mean, elf would win. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you have a bunch of basilisks and you can beacon that thing, uh, you can take it out. True.